Louis XVI, often dubbed Louis the Great or the Sun King, was born in 1638. His birth was seen as a miracle, as his parents had been childless for 23 years. This unexpected heir brought immense joy to France. Growing up, Louis XIV experienced the turbulence of the Fronde. These years instilled in him a fear of rebellion and a desire for control. At five, Louis XIV ascended to the throne in 1643. His mother ruled as regent with Cardinal Mazarin as chief minister. In 1661, Cardinal Mazarin died, leaving a void in the French court. Louis XV, now 23, seized this opportunity to assume full control of the government, declaring that he would rule without a chief minister. This bold move marked the beginning of his personal reign, a period that would come to define his legacy. Louis XIV's choice of the sun as his emblem was no accident. The sun, a symbol of power, vitality, and life itself, perfectly embodied Louis XIV's vision of himself and his reign. He saw himself as the center of the French universe, around which everything and everyone revolved. This image of the Sun King was carefully cultivated through propaganda, art, and architecture. The young king, a skilled dancer and horseman, often took part in elaborate ballets and courtly spectacles, portraying himself as Apollo, the Greek god of the sun. His every move was calculated to inspire awe and reinforce his image as the divinely appointed ruler. Louis XVI's reign was an era of immense change and upheaval. He embarked on a series of ambitious reforms aimed at centralizing power, strengthening the monarchy, and expanding French influence abroad. His reign saw the rise of absolutism in France, with Louis XIV as the ultimate authority, answerable only to God. One of his most significant achievements was the establishment of the Palace of Versailles. Originally a hunting lodge, Louis XIV transformed Versailles into a lavish palace, a symbol of his absolute power and the grandeur of France. The court was moved from Paris to Versailles, bringing the nobility under his direct control and effectively neutralizing their power. His reign also witnessed significant military expansion and a series of costly wars. While these conflicts bolstered France's military prowess and expanded its territories, they also drained the royal treasury and sowed the seeds of future conflicts. Despite the economic strain, Louis XIV's military campaigns secured France a dominant position in Europe. Section 4, A Patron of the Arts, Louis XIV's Cultural Influence Louis XIV was a fervent patron of the arts. He used art as propaganda to glorify his reign. Under his patronage, French art, literature, music and architecture flourished. He established academies, nurturing a new generation of artists. His support for Molière, Lully, and Lebrun led to masterpieces. The Palace of Versailles showcased French art and culture. Its lavish interiors reflected the king's refined taste. Louis XIV's patronage established France as Europe's arbiter of taste. Section 5. The Sunsets, the legacy of Louis XIV. Louis XIV's reign, spanning over seven decades, left an indelible mark on France. He transformed the nation into a European superpower, leaving behind a legacy of absolute monarchy, a centralized state, and a flourishing cultural landscape. However, his reign was not without its shadows. His costly wars and extravagant spending, coupled with his religious policies, which revoked the Edict of Nantes and led to the persecution of Protestants, created internal strife and economic hardship. While he left France stronger on the world stage, his policies also sowed the seeds of discontent that would eventually contribute to the French Revolution. Section 6. Conclusion, a complex legacy, Louis XIV, the Sun King, remains a figure of immense historical significance. He was a ruler of contradictions, a visionary leader who modernized France, but also an absolute monarch whose policies ultimately weakened the very foundations of his rule. His reign was a tapestry woven with threads of grandeur and excess, of cultural brilliance and religious intolerance. His legacy continues to be debated by historians, but there's no denying the profound impact he had on the course of French and European history. He left behind a legacy of centralized power, a flourishing artistic tradition, and a nation forever marked by the grandeur and the follies of the Sun King's reign.